Hi, it's Matt here. So this is our Hyundai Ioniq Electric. It's a 2017 car, 28 kilowatt hour. It's actually done over 100,000 miles now. In this video, I'm going to change the reduction gearbox all there at the front, and I'm going to change the drain plug to a new magnetic one because the original ones do not have magnets in them. So if we look here, we can see that this car has now done 100,290 miles. So I have already changed the gearbox all in this. I think I did it at about 86,000 miles. There is a video to that already on the channel. So uh, I'll put the link at the top of the screen for that. Um, so this video isn't necessarily going to be an instructional video on how to change oil, the gear oil, like the last video was. But I did have some comments on that that I used the wrong oil. So I'm going to talk about that and also talk about why it's probably a good idea to change the um, drain and fill plugs on the gearbox to magnetic types. So just getting this up on the four poster lift here, but if you want to do this job yourself, you don't need a lift. You can just do this from crawling under the car, which I explained in the last video. Um, you've only just got to get the wheels up on a curb or some bricks or something, and that's more than enough to do the job. So I've removed the under tray, uh, which is fairly easy. And then your gearbox is here. Let me just get some light on it. This is your drain plug and the fill plug is just above it up there, which you probably can't see. Um, they're 24 millimeters. When you're doing this job, don't undo the drain plug and empty the oil to start with. It's always better to undo the fill plug first and take that out and then undo the drain plug just because if that fill plug is then too tight or chewed up and you can't get it out you're not going to get the oil back in the gearbox so it's always best to undo the fill plug first that also lets the air in when you drain it out and it will pour out nice and smoothly rather than glugging so top one first and then the bottom one so as expected the oil draining out of this now is nice and clean it's only done 13,000 miles or so so I wasn't expecting it to be dirty. I'm only changing it because I've now got these magnetic plugs. Yeah, and that's the color of the oil. Not that you can really tell, but yeah, it's still nice and golden and really look clean. So your first question is probably gonna be, how often should you change the gear oil in a Hyundai Ioniq? Um, well, it's exactly the same as any electric car. Uh, the manufacturer states that these are sealed for life and you don't need to change your oil. Uh, on this car, I changed it first at 86,000 miles, which was a bit late, to be honest. I would have preferred to have done it around about 50,000 miles. And that's the sort of time scale I think EV should have their oil changed, about every 50 or 60,000. There's no right or wrong answer to this. But what I do find is the oil is pretty poor in most EVs, and I've found metal in quite a lot of oil changes, particularly on Nissans, Nissan Leafs and Nissan EMV 200s. I found quite big chunks of metal in, in uh, the oil on those. And what's quite clear on Kona's, I uh, haven't found it on this, but on some EVs, the gearbox is, the reduction gearbox is the weak point of an EV. So leaving the oil for the lifetime of the car just isn't a good idea. And uh, every 50, 60, 70,000 miles, something like that, your, your EV is gonna benefit from having that um, gear oil. Because if you have an accurate gearbox, uh, that they cost about 1500 quid something like that but then you've got labor you're going to be looking at two two and a half thousand pounds all in to have a reduction gearbox changed so it's just not worth risking it um, it's worth doing those oil changes because then you uh, use about a litre of oil it's a very cheap and quick and easy job to do so why not just do it so I think the issues are the the speed that an electric motor runs at um, is just much higher than the gears can cope with in a reduction gearbox so you've got a shaft coming out the electric motor going into this reduction gearbox at the side this has just got some fixed gears which is just reducing the speed down to your drive shafts which go to the wheels and I think the gears in here just aren't manufactured well enough to cope with the high speeds and the torques of an electric motor um, so yeah it's worth changing the oil obviously but as electric vehicles get older now, obviously, and the mileages are increasing on some of the older cars, I'm starting to hear of a few cases where reduction gearboxes fail. 
so why not change the oil? So let's get back to the Ionic. The reason I'm doing this obviously is that drain plug there and the fill plug on the Ionic does not have a magnet on it. As to whether it needs a magnet that's a bit of a debatable thing. From what I've heard there is a magnet in the gearbox casing but because it's permanently on the inside of the casing okay it's going to collect any filings or any sort of fragments of metal but they're not going to be flushed out so over time that magnet could be sort of saturated and stop doing its job. On other EVs they do have a magnet on the drain plug and sometimes on the fill plug and when I change oil in other EVs there are metal deposits on that magnet so obviously it is doing the job and removing that when you do change the oil. I do wonder though whatever magnet you have on this when that oil is spinning and the car's driving I would imagine that the debris on that magnet is going to get flushed off and go around the gearbox anyway so I'd imagine they're not doing an awful lot of good and it's only when the car is sat and the oil sits down in the bottom of the gearbox that magnet is then going to suck all the particles out of the oil and collect it on the magnet but as soon as it drives again I would imagine the majority of it will wash off because the magnets are never that strong but when you drain your oil it's all going to be collecting on the magnet and of course you're then going to be removing it from the gearbox and that's the advantage of it so for actual wear and day-to-day -day driving, I would imagine the magnet isn't going to have a huge benefit, but it's when you change your oil, you are removing it from the gearbox. Whereas if this gearbox does have a magnet up in the casing, all that rubbish is going to stay on that magnet, so it's going to stay in the gearbox. So if that is the case, all you can do on these is just change your oil more frequently. But of course, if you follow the manufacturer's schedule, you never change your oil. So here's the original Hyundai drain plug and there is no magnet in the top so what I've bought is another drain plug which is I saw on the internet actually someone had posted these ones were an identical match not that it has to be an identical match but this is actually a Toyota drain plug and it's got a magnet in the end as you can see there and it is absolutely identical so it's a good replacement but you can buy these anywhere um, doesn't have to be a uh, a hex 24 millimeter hex end to it because you can get allen key ones smaller smaller hexes the critical thing is the thread this is an m18 times 1.5 so 18 millimeters and a 1.5 millimeter thread so all you got to search for is 18 times 1.5 millimeter drain plug and get one with a magnet so it doesn't have to look like that as long as this is an M18 times 1.5 millimeter thread. So as far as the depth of that thread, let me just, so we're looking at that. It is um, 12 millimeters, but I don't think that really matters. It can be longer because a lot of them will have a magnet then protruding out the end. Let's go and have a look at the gearbox. So, can I rest this in the oil pan without getting dirty? Yes. So obviously this is your drain plug and your gear, gears are up here in the gearbox and this drain plug is just sitting at the bottom. So can I get my finger in there? Ah, right, okay, so there's the end. So yeah, you've got an inch and a quarter or so. Let's just, um, I'll measure the oil on my finger now. So yes, the total depth you've got to play with, including the thread, is about 35 millimeters. So you really want to keep it under, let's say 30 millimeters long, which is you know, more than twice the length of this. So you, any plug is gonna fit. Key thing is M18 times 1.5 millimeter thread. And you can buy these on Amazon, eBay, just search uh, magnetic drain plug. There are loads and loads of sites which sell them and uh, they tend to cost about 10 pounds each or so. So as I said, this one is actually a Toyota one. I will put the price and the part number of this in the description of the video, and also the details of the crush washer that you want to fit, the aluminium washer that goes on this. Again, I just bought some Toyota ones for now, but they're bog standard, they're uh, 18 millimeters inner, uh, 24 millimeters outer, I think very standard washer that you can buy in aluminium or copper 
Um, but yeah, all the part numbers of this particular one I've used are in the description. But um, you don't have to buy this one. This one's nothing special. I don't think the magnet's particularly strong. Um, but it was just convenient for me because I've got an account with them and they delivered to us. So it was just convenience really that I bought this rather than anything else. And I bought a pair of them. So I'm going to change both the drain plug and the fill plug with the magnetic plugs. So let's just come out in the daylight and you can see a bit better. So let's talk about the oil. So some people commented on my last video, I used the wrong oil. But um, I got that oil spec from the Castrol Oil Finder website. Put the details of the Ionic in and that's what it said um, from their range it used in the car. I don't think you have to be particularly fussy on the oil as long as it's gearbox oil. Um, but anyway, Hyundai specify 70W manual transmission oil, which is GL4. So I've now bought this, which is the exact stuff. It's quite difficult to buy 70W gearbox oil in the UK. That's why those Castrol oils that I referred to in the last video uh, were slightly different, but I'm sure they're absolutely fine. But anyway, this is what Hyundai recommend. And in the UK, you can buy this stuff, Liquid Molly 70W to 75W manual transmission oil, MTF. So that's what I'm gonna fit now in the gearbox and these take 1 to 1.1 litres of oil so this is a 1 litre of oil so you probably really need to buy two bottles of this to have enough to make sure you fill it to the right level. So in terms of how you fill this I'm not going to cover that in this video because I've already filmed all that and I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description and at the top of the screen so um, I think I'll wrap this one up now this was really just to look at the state of this oil and it's nice and clean but it's only done 13,000 miles so I'd expect that um, and it's really just to tell you that the what the thread size is if you want to put magnetic plugs in instead of reusing the originals and just to verify that oil spec so that will do for this video if you found this useful please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube that really does help other people find the channel and um, do subscribe if you haven't and i will see you on the next video so just to confirm the oil quantity i did have to crack open a second bottle of oil and this syringe takes 200 milliliters so 0.2 of a liter and the last go it was nearly full so it is it's near enough 1.2 liters just a bit below something like 1.175 something like that and the final thing talking both the fill and the drain plug up. I think the manufacturer says 44 Newton meters. That's a little bit tight. Anything between 32 and 44.